Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors. Man, there is just something about being in the woods in fall that I absolutely love. And I'm out here today and uh, I wanted to do a review on another knife. Now this knife is, um, you guys have seen other versions of it on the channel. Uh, and it's the Mora Bushcraft Orange. I didn't get the black, I got the orange because, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. But if you know my channel, you know that I absolutely love Mora's. I think, uh, I would say in my opinion, Mora is the best knife that you can buy, period. If you're trying to figure out a knife that you could use for backpacking, a knife that is great for hunting, a knife that you can use for bushcraft, a knife that you can use just for general outdoor stuff, uh, if you had to have one knife to do all of those things, it should be a Mora, in my opinion, uh, because they won't break the bank. Uh, they are rock solid. They have great steel, and um, they just work. Uh, they're and and you know what? If you lose it somehow, um, you're not going to be heartbroken because you're only out like anywhere from eight to fourteen bucks for the the cheaper ones. And if you really want to splurge and get the bushcraft, you're out like 38 bucks. So it's not like you're out of a million dollars. So uh, anyway, guys, stick around. I'm going to set up the camera and do a little review on my newest addition to my Mora family, the bushcraft orange. So stay tuned. So here we have the Mora bushcraft orange. Now you can see I've done some modifications to this. So this video is going to be kind of like a review and I'm going to talk about the modifications that I've made to this sheath that really improve it. Now I haven't done anything to the knife because on this iteration of the Mora they've done just about everything that I could want starting with the color. Now I said that I like hunting um, and I, I go hunting and, and when I'm field dressing a deer uh, there have been times where I've had to look for my knife afterwards for 20 minutes because this thing, the Mora, my Mora Companion, can blend in very well. Now if you want your stuff to blend in, then that's great, but I don't like sitting around spending a bunch of time hunting for this thing when this is all, you know, covered and you can't see much of it. You set this thing down and it just disappears into the brush. Uh, same thing if you put the knife down in its sheath. The OD Green is awesome and I love it. And I've got this Mora Companion and a Mora Companion HD in this color. Love it and it's all good. But this orange is awesome for outdoor stuff. Whether you're whittling in camp or you're cutting something up or you're hunting or you're field dressing or whatever, this thing, if it falls down, you are going to find it each and every time. It's super easy to spot. Same thing with the sheath. Now the sheath honestly was a bit much with the orange and so part of the reason I covered it was the color and part of the reason is because I wanted extra stuff. So let's, um, let's do the sheath first and then I'll get to the knife. The sheath is great and uh, it has kind of like a dangler sheath where these are fixed, these don't move. The bushcraft has this and it comes with a second loop that's a solid loop, not the, uh, the one that opens and it's a little bit longer so if you prefer that you can click that one in instead and these are interchangeable you can move them in and out. Uh, the other thing I like about it is it's relatively stiff. I can actually put this on my belt with the knife in here I'll show you and do like a scout carry either you know either way and it's it'll hold pretty well uh, so if that if you like scout carry you know and again after after time this might wear in and it won't do that but for now I can carry it scout style horizontal which I really like anyway uh, back to the sheath uh, retention is good by the way too as with all mores and if they get weak you heat them up with a hair dryer and you give them a little pinch and they're good to go anyway I took 250 pound test downrigger braided downrigger line and I wrapped it and I've got uh, I would say probably 12 feet maybe a little better uh, on here and that's, maybe it's more than that. Either way, after I did that, I put a ranger band on the bottom and a ranger band on top to keep it from sliding around and unraveling. 
and then I put a fire steel on there with the attached striker uh, and I just put that on with two more ranger bands. Now the ranger bands and emergency burn for a long time so you can get them going with the fire steel. A little hard to get them going so you might need a little tinder. Um, but I also thought about putting some tinder on the back side of this thing but I just didn't do it for today. Anyway, you might wonder why I've got the striker on there. Well, uh, it's attached to it and I figured I'd just keep it with it. Even though the spine of this Mora is 90 degrees and does a phenomenal job of throwing sparks. On my companion I had to grind the spine to make it 90 degrees so that it would throw a good spark. And it does after I put it on the grinder for a second. But this comes from the factory with that 90 degree spine. It is very sharp. Uh, it, it is very good at throwing sparks. As a matter of fact I'll quickly show you here uh, just so you guys believe me. Uh, but this thing will definitely throw sparks like nobody's business. Uh, not worried about that at all. Throws them like a monster. Uh, and this, this is a decent fire steel too. This is from firesteels.com. Uh, they, they're a lot better than like the Coughlin's ones that I've used. Uh, so anyway, just to show you that that spine works really well. Works just as advertised, which is not always the case. Uh, with knives that claim that they can throw sparks. Uh, the Mora Bushcraft definitely delivers. Okay, so there's that. That fits right back on there. No time flat with those Ranger, ranger Bands. So there's the sheath. Those are my mods. I probably won't do anything else because I really like the sheath. I just wanted the little extra cordage, the Ranger Bands, and the Fire Steel on there. Um, now on to the knife. The Bushcraft Orange is stainless. I was kind of worried about getting the stainless because I've liked their carbon steel so much. Uh, and this is my companion and my companion HD are carbon and you can see I let somebody borrow this and I found that they had flipped a bunch of burgers on a grill with it and then left it in the sheath for like three four days to rust up. Thank you. Uh, but anyway the knife, you know knife is fine. I sharpened it back up and she's good to go. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to have to worry about this thing rusting, which is kind of nice. And it doesn't sharpen quite as easily as the carbon steel, and it holds its edge a little bit less, but it's still really good. Uh, this thing is still an animal, and, uh, you know, I don't know. Mora makes great steel, especially for the price, and uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with that stainless I've done decent amount of carving with it and it'll still it'll still shave no problem right out of the box um, now let's talk about blade thickness um, because this is both a plus and a minus for me the blade thickness on this is way more than double what a standard more companion is I mean look at the thickness difference there it's huge um, they have the same grind angle though, which means our bevel width. This is slightly wider, but I guess what I'm saying is this is a little thinner behind the edge. This is going to be more of a slicer um, for like food prep, kitchen tasks, stuff like that. And with this being so thick right behind the edge, you know, because it's a, it's a scanty grind, a zero grind, um, I was splitting some uh, squash with it last night and it's kind of hard to ram through stuff sometimes because it's so thick. Now that makes it better for splitting wood if you're the type that likes to baton with your knife. Uh, I'm not but it does work for that. So this is more kind of like a scalpel. Um, this is just as sharp but it's uh, a higher angle. It's a, it's a steeper angle so it's not while the edge is just as fine, it's it's a different angle, so it's not going to slice in as well. Uh, but the thick blade gives you lots of other advantages, like strength uh, and a little extra weight should you want to chop with this. Although, I still can't understand why people want to be able to chop with their knives. It seems to me that bushcraft knives have all, you know, become like this nine-foot-long sword uh, that's an inch thick and you know oh can it chop down a, a live oak tree with three feet in diameter oh that must be a good bushcraft blade 
I don't get it. Um, if I want to chop stuff, I'm going to bring an axe. Uh, but anyway, that's besides the point, guys. For a knife, this thing rocks. Strong enough to do whatever you want. Got a 90 degree spine, stainless, and uh, ooh, that's gross close. Uh, and it, it'll just it'll do anything you want it to do. It's it's a great knife, great all around knife, and that's why I said, in my opinion, Moras are the best. Um, oh, one thing that I do like about this, I've got also have a Mora uh, 511 Basic, and I snapped the very tip of the tip off because let's see if I can show you this. Um, look at the thickness on that tip. That's gonna be near impossible to bust off. Now when I bring companion out, look how much thinner that is. Look at the difference there. So if you're looking for something really stout to really beat on, you might want to spend the extra money and get the bushcraft. Now that being said, this is 38-ish, 40-ish, this is 14-ish. So. Uh, some people don't think that it's worth the extra money. I'd say depending on your purposes, it is. Although, if this is all you've got, the companion, it's going to be good. Um, you know, I've had it for years and I've really whipped it and it's been good. Anyway, guys, I don't want to chase too many rabbit trails here, but um, just wanted to give you kind of some of the mods that I've done to this and uh, give it a little bit of a comparison between an old favorite of mine, an old standby, the Companion. I didn't bring the Companion HD, um, and the blade thickness is kind of somewhere in between these two, but it's closer to the bushcraft. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to roll in some footage of cutting with this thing so you can see it in action, and uh, I'll quit talking. But suffice it to say, I love this knife. Okay, so let's see what the spine can do on this bark. See this really fine stuff that's really good tinder starting fire that's one of the advantages of having this good sharp spine see if this will make any feather sticks this wood is kind of punky you know what's funny is I see a lot of guys doing feather sticks with uh, like green wood and I kind of just like laugh like yeah it's green wood of course it's gonna curl up but it's not really going to light on fire. You're going to do feather sticks. You want it to be able to do dead wood. Stuff that's actually going to light and that it's harder to do it on. Any knife will make curls on green wood. Let's try to get some fine ones. go. She'll definitely bring up some curls on the dead wood. All right, let's do some heavier cuts, some lever cuts. See how this thing will bite in. This thing will seriously dig if you start romping on it. Well, there you have it. There's some cutting. The old, try to get the logo in there. The old Mora Knife Bushcraft Stainless. So, uh, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're looking for a good bushcraft knife, I'd say really any of the Moras will do. But if you really think that you need all this extra thickness, which I guess could come in handy at points, then uh, this thing is good in my book. And uh, I'm actually trying right now to get a hold of the new Mora Eldris, very small Mora knife that I think would be great for ultralight backpacking. So when I get that, you better believe I'll have a nice video up on that. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. 
Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed. God bless you guys. Have a great day, and I'll catch you later.